I know. Oh, sorry. Did you do what? Nothing. Oh, come on now. You gotta tell me. No. <laughs> That's just. Can go. you whisper it to me? No. <laughs> I'll tell you after. Okay. Welcome back, Soul Tribe. Yay. Oh, wrong place. Hi there, Soul Tribe. <laughs> okay. So we are going to be exploring mm -hmm. a dream right. from a fabulous Soul Triber. Well, actually, they're not. Okay. They're soon to be Soul Triber. Let's hope. <laughs> no, it's just someone that was interested in a dream and knows that I interpret dreams. Excellent. Yeah. And so you'll know from reading it that they're not soul tribers yet. Oh, I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. So we can kind of tell mm -hmm. yeah. philosophy, right, um, right. knowledge, or soon uh, to be learning the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or so not, it doesn't matter. As exactly. Long as they're nice and don't hurt anyone. Yeah, exactly. Just like the rest of us, right? Yes. God, why do my eyeballs do that? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep them. Well, I think it's cute. I'm going to just go like this. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Okay. Of course. All right. Here we go. We're just rusty. Or I am. <laughs> I'm not having to do live. Oh well, my that God. is okay. I'm still it. there. I know. Yeah. Me too. Okay. Go. All right. So here we go. Come on. Quit batting me on. <laughs> I cannot... Speak! Stop <laughs> diddle daddling or dial down. I'm to say it. Throat chakra. Open. Yes, right. Blue, blue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we have Cindy's dream question. <laughs> you said dream. I did? <laughs> oh my God. Blue, blue. Yeah. <laughs> Just so as you know, if you Maybe need you to. That's what I heard anyway. <laughs> now we're going to have to rewind. Yeah. <laughs> if you would like to open up your throat chakra mm -hmm. or chakra, depending. It's chakra. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then you would visualize blue right here. Right. There's also crystals for that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. maybe in the, in the description, Vera will tell oh, us. There, there you go. Yeah. What kind of crystal we could mm -hmm. use for that too. All right. Universally, so, it's uh, clear quartz. Okay. But we'll go with more depth. I like clear quartz. Because it's, it's basically good for everything. Yes, protection. Because you know, it's a power. Yeah, it does everything. I love it. Our amplifying crystals. Yes. <laughs> okay, so Cindy's question is... Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go <laughs> ahead and read it. Who's Cindy? <laughs> Here we go. I only know All right. one or two. Okay. And I'm just giving like a little, a little, a little warning yeah, that whenever on. I say squirrel, it's supposed to be a squirrel, not a little fur, furry creature. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like I'm saying squirrel. <laughs> I had a dream that I was shown a golden squirrel. <laughs> told not squirrel. Yeah. And I was told that it was mine and I signed it before I came here into life. It was covered with the blood of Jesus from day one to the last day. This seemed to annoy me in my dream because of two reasons. First, my reaction was, this is BS and I did not agree to this. And who in their right mind would? And even after my life was my lifetime, sorry, was over and still no one would be allowed to know who I was because for some reason I agreed to never let anybody know. That makes sense. It seems like something I would not agree to without a huge reason behind it. And secondly, I was under the impression that the blood of Jesus only blotted out the sin the squirrel underneath was gold, not white like I expected. So I asked to see somebody, somebody else's squirrel for comparison. And I wasn't allowed to, to see the whole thing, but only allowed to see a small portion of it. And I could tell that, that it was bright white, in, but there was blots over the things that were covered up. That were, that, were that were called, yes, redacted, that were called sinful moments during their lifetime on earth. 
Now, that's what I was expecting to see for myself. However, mine was gold underneath and not bright white. And there were hieroglyphic icons, which appeared to be one per day from the start of my life and had some kind of scribble writing in the middle section, which appeared to be cursive writing. But the ending portion had no writing. Okay, there's more. This portion was like the golden flat, kind of like reflection right. type of in, uh, in nature, like a sheet. I also pointed out that my last name was blotted out in black. There was only a thumbprint where the last name was supposed to be, and I did not think that that made the contract binding, as it was without the entire name. So I accused somebody of messing with my scroll and asked if they would please at least look into if someone had altered it. Then the message came back. You are misunderstanding the meaning of the golden scroll in your dream. You are the golden scroll. There is only one scroll like this, and that is the message you are missing. So what do you think, Vera, is well, the right interpretation? Basically, what Cindy was doing is she was visiting her uh, Akashic Records, so she was trying to look at things that she's not ready to see. So those those were the ones that are redacted. So um, wow. when she said that it was um, B, not BS, but she said that it didn't count because she didn't have her whole name on it. It just had a thumbprint for the last name. And it was, that, sorry, that's binding. Because that's, <laughs> you know, that's just <laughs> the mark. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> yeah, so that was, you know, that that was interesting in itself. And then, because uh, she was under the impression that it's like human life, and it's not. If when we're on the other side and we're writing our chart, we're not thinking like we do here. You right, know, we yeah. still remember everything. We still know everything. So, yeah. So, um, where am I? She was saying something about the scroll, and there's things underneath that she could see that was white, that was redacted or something. Right. 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 But then when it came to her, it was golden. I know, I like that. Yeah. Well, that's because she had a life of Jesus. She's very, very into him because they had this life together. And she was the one that she actually traveled with him everywhere he went. Wow. And there was, um, she was in charge of the children. Oh. She would keep them occupied and, you know, and telling them what Jesus was saying and what it meant, you know, the big Aww. words that they didn't understand. That's so really she was very neat. close to him in that way. So that's why hers were golden. And in our philosophy, um, gold is representative of Christ consciousness. So that's Jesus. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So let's see. Underneath we got that. Um, and then the sinful moments, that's her philosophy. And that's okay. You know, she's a very, very kind woman. So right. it's like whatever you know, I don't want to say dogma, but whatever uh, religion she wants to be, that's that's up to her, right? Exactly. Yeah, as long as you're good people. Exactly. Yeah, so um, I got that part, the scribble writing, and the cursive. And those parts where you go and you, you look at your Kashic records in Dreamtime or whatever, or you're astrally traveling, there is a lot that you won't be able to see. It's almost like whenever I looked at mine, it was invisible ink. It was like you could see it at Bad first, it. and then it goes away. That's yeah, no so everybody, fair. Everybody sees theirs differently. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, okay, it's really cool. writing, and then uh, she pointed out, okay, get that, and basically that was it. I mean, she was involved with Jesus, that's why that thing was going on, and the golden, uh, the thing that they were saying where she was misinterpreting the meaning of the scroll is because she is the living scroll. We have all of that's our information awesome. in our, you know, in our soul. We have everything, so that's why we have still have sometimes feedback from past lives mm -hmm. that we still hang on to that are maybe not as good for us. So we were trying to do it in this lifetime and not have to go through that, but we have to work on getting that past life that's still nipping at our, not our head. I couldn't show you my feet, <laughs> nipping at your heels. You know, right. so that way. Um, and now I lost my thought. Well, I think it's really fascinating because we have all this knowledge within mm -hmm. us and all this experience and all this wisdom and everything that she taught the children mm -hmm. and from what Jesus That's was what saying. That's what she was supposed to know. 
Yeah. That was the message. That's what I love. It's, mm-hmm. and, she, and that's within her. Mm-hmm. And she carries that in yeah. this lifetime. And so she was meant to know that mm-hmm. at this time. Exactly. And I just think it's amazing. It's fascinating because she's from another philosophy. And it's still the same. Exactly. It's a little bit different, but still the same. Exactly. Boy, that doesn't make sense, huh? It's a little different, but we all have a, a thread of truth. Yes. That's what I meant. And that's what Gnostic is. Mm-hmm. It's a seeker of truth. So mm-hmm. we might look so we're into... Gnostic Christians. Yes, we might look into many different philosophies mm-hmm. or religions and take parts of them that we mm-hmm. really resonate to. Because, exactly. I mean, if you look at Mother God, let's mm-hmm. say, Mother God uh, has come to... Man, not mankind, humankind, mm-hmm. um, in different visages Lord. and in different uh, belief systems and different religions. But it's the one Mother God. So it's amazing how we can all have and embrace our own beliefs and philosophies. But there's still those common truths yeah. that uh, run through everything. Just like our classic lessons, yeah. and just like what you were just saying, Vera, about how what really matters is being a good person, yeah. not oh, if you don't believe this way. You're not going and to heaven. And she was trying to make it analytical, and that's what we do here, not on the other side. Right, yeah. right. Well, that was amazing. And if you... Thank you, Cindy. Have, yes. Thank I'm like you. roasting to death right now. Are you? I'll turn Oh, my fan. God. This hair is so hot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And if you have dream questions that you would like to ask Vera, mm-hmm. you can check that out on our website. So she has all her services there. And then, of course, all the art that I've created that you know we have here on the show, you can find that there, too. And... Vera's gorgeous bracelets. There you are. And we love you all. Thank you for joining us. And we'd love to hear your thoughts and if you have any dream experiences. Yeah. Or, or what did you get from that dream? Yes. What, you know, yeah. what represents mm-hmm. different things and dreams to you. to you? We'd love to hear it yeah. in the comments below. below. Thank you for joining us. You didn't say... <laughs> well, I was waiting Chrissy? for you to... Um, you're in the right place. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you get to say the new one. <laughs> I thought you were going to say journey with us. Yeah. So I'll say it. Journey with us. (laughs)